Hey y'all. So, um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse my voice. I'm sick. I swear I've been sick since like November. And for some reason I get sick, I get a little better and then I'm sick again. It's ridiculous. Anyways, I'm standing here in front of my vanity. Um, I finally got this area kind of situated how I wanted to look. I'll do like a vanity tour in this apartment because I might be moving again. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> we shall see what happens, but I finally got everything settled, including my earrings. I made a short about my broken earrings, a uh, little, um, hanging the thingy majiggy uh and i'll have to make a new one with what i settle with okay so i'm gonna do a quick review of some of the new products i'm trying so this is my face i just finished it first off i know i say this a lot if anybody knows me the original house labs brand i did not like so i won't stand for them but <clears throat> excuse moi today i am wearing the concealer which is a little thick but it felt very hydrating i'll see what my face looks like by the end of the day um because i've been for some reason struggling lately with dry under eyes um it's been within like the last six months so i've switched over all my new concealers are now i'm trying to buy hydrating um, and I've also went back to an oldie, but oldie but goodie, which is my uh, Fenty um, setting powder. Um, I've started using this in the Laura Mercier. I was using the one size pink under um, powder, powder in the uh, Huda Beauty one. Here, I got a new mini because uh, I was using the regular one, but I wanted to try a different color. This is in Peach Pie. And I think I remember why I stopped using this as much because it's drying. Um, and I also have a mini one size pink powder because i've been wanting to try the pink little thing but actually these two have been okay i'm still a fan of my Givenchy one the i think it's number five or six with the browns and pinks that's my favorite um i've been using this uh, milk um i went ahead and got the the um translucent deep and i've been using the translucent very deep um as after my primer setting my primer which honestly i stopped doing that for a long time because my regular primers have been working just fine um but i just i like it i've gone back to it i like it so um i've been using the milk ones and using this all over my face and then using the darker one um as my like contour and it's been really nice been making my makeup look really nice um so today i have on the house labs house labs concealer again it's thick um, but hydrating. I do have on the foundation and I think I love it. I'm gonna see what it looks like by the end of the day But my face looks like get into this Get into this. It looks good and hold on before I get too quick too quick first off um, Pat McGrath this um What is it called platinum bronze? Fetish eyes long wear liquid eyeshadow the color is platinum bronze first off. Why ain't nobody tell me this was good? Why y'all holding out on a sister? Like, y'all, I'm so hyped. This is good. Like, I want to go and get all the colors. Like, and I probably am. When they have their next, like, 30, 40% off sale, I'm getting all of them. This, you put it on, you have just enough time to blend out the edges, but it dries and it doesn't move. Like, and I have hooded, you can tell I have hooded eyelids. Like, it's very easy for my eyeshadow to move. Um, First off, this is amazing. Before I get too ahead of myself as well, why nobody tell me this was good? Like, I've been using it the last couple, the last week, and let me tell you something these colors blend so well with each other this is the diamond of the first water it makes me want to go back and get the other one like if i can find it somewhere um this is really good like and it stays on i wore it the other day and i swear i got so many compliments like this was good i wore all the colors i like i i wore this one this one use this as like a, a inner eye and use this on my lid the only color i didn't use was this one the blue one and actually i think i'm gonna put it in my inner tear duct right now i have a mirror if you guys remember from my other vanity setup i have a mirror right here so i'm about to Look at that. That is amazing. First off, I'm like ready for work super early today. Cause I woke up super early and I didn't do my little my little workout like I have been doing the last couple days. But this is gorgeous. You hear me? Like just look at that. Like just gorgeous. Today, I don't have on a, a top lid eyeliner like I normally would, um, mostly because I ain't feel like it. I do have on um, two mascaras. I have on this MAC one and um, this whole Live Pro. Um, I have on these two mixed together, and they make my eyelashes look really nice. Um, under eye, I am wearing this one size Point Made in Busty Brown, and I really like this look. Um, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but I really wanted a dark brown eyeliner, and this is doing really well. I've been using this. Uh, I bought this recently, the Stila... Um, stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner i've been in a search for a really good eyeliner and that doesn't move um and i've been wearing this so i don't have it on today um, but this one's been doing really well but honestly this tom ford one don't buy this first off it's really expensive but it has lasted a long time at one point the tip um the felt tip on this one wasn't working and then i started using it like two months later and it was back working i don't know what happened it just started back working randomly um but i love this felt tip 
and I would love it in the Stila formula. I just rebought this because I just went back to, and this is why they stay in business. Because when people are struggling, they can't, oh, I just need to make sure I ain't have nothing in my nose. Um, when people are struggling, they can't figure out what's wrong, why they can't get it. People go back to Odie but goodies. Because I heard, I, I was watching a video recently and somebody was saying, why is Stila still in business? Who's keeping them in business? Me, me, I'm keeping them in business. Okay, because I pay full price for this. Um, clown, go ahead, put on the hat, everything. But I'm just looking for a, a nice eyeliner. But I want it with this felt, not felt, this um, brush type. I don't know if you guys can see. This is like a brush instead of, instead of like this. Okay, so I want it like the Tom Ford brush. Um, something else, I've re oh, listen, I recently went back to using my Pat McGrath um, under eye blurring powder. Listen, it is everything. And I've been using it in medium. I have it in dark. I have it in yellow. I have it in translucent. I have it in every color and I love it. The issue I have is the packaging. I want Pat McGrath to change this packaging because I swear to you, I'm not, I'm not lying. I have it in every color. And the issue I have is that it drops and the packaging breaks. Like, like, look at this, look at this. This is such a good formula. Pat, change, like, look, this one is broken too. I have it in dark yellow. Oops, see, look. Just this packaging for this is terrible. And I keep buying it. This is like, I have three here, two of which are broken. And um, I had two more before that. And all I did was the broken pieces, I put them in a jar like this. Not this one, but it's in a different jar. And I've still been using them because the formula is so good. Like, I just want her to change the packaging because it's such a waste of money. Like, I break these more then I actually finish using them. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. So that's that. I've started back using it. Look at my under eye. Looking good. Um, and today I'm using, this is my first time using that House Labs um, concealer. It's really good. I have used this um, We're Even Hydrating Concealer. I'm in 420W. And uh, I was using this the last week. And it's also, it's also pretty good. Oh, I didn't tell you my shades for House Labs. And this one, I'm in shade Medium Deep Neutral 41. And I like it to like nearly fit my skin tone, my concealer. So I don't do too much brightening. Normally when I use brightening, it's because of my powder, not because of my concealer. And I, I got my foundation shade look i am a professional all right anytime i've been buying foundations like outside of like the first time i started buying foundations when i lived in china um after that one lump of mist colors and all that i got my shade down i can like look at a foundation range and almost pick out my foundation shade spot on like this one in the foundation here is 480 medium deep neutral that's the shade I am in House Labs. Um, as I wore this yesterday, 6 in, I'm I'm normally 6 in in Dior because Dior and NARS kind of oxidizes on me. Um, and uh, I'm not. I'll come back with a review on this one. I'm not too sure. I only wore it one time, so I can't give you an accurate de uh, depiction of what I actually if I like it or not. But this Fenty Stick 21 Ease Drop the business i've been using it like since i bought it and really really good stuff really good um if you have dry skin you might not like it but i have oily skin and i literally been like one two three one two three and then one and blending it in it's very nice it's light i wore it in a very hot theater for several days in a row it, listen it don't move again it don't move it's amazing um, I've recently started wearing um, this House Labs chocolate opal if any if you know me you know that I like the blush highlighter type situations my favorite blonde bronzer is the spare minerals and i've talked about this all the time in kiss of rose this is my favorite like favorite thing to put on my cheeks and so i always buy shades or tones that are around the similar because i just love it this one i've used it the last two days um this is what it looks like it's a pretty color very very close to this bare mineral bronzer and kiss of kiss of rose like look at them they're very close the difference between the two are this one, it feels like it's less reflex. I'm trying this one out because actually this uh, chocolate opal, it's really nice. I think it settles a bit more when my oils peek through a little bit. So I'll, I'll come back and let y'all know how I'm feeling about it. Uh, but so far, so good. Um, Ma'am, this is my second or third. Uh, I've panned this. I'm scraping on the edges. I already bought a new one, but I'm going to finish this one first. Um, and this is in Charlotte Tilbury 4. I've tried tons of finishing powders. This is my go-to. I love it. I'm actually not going to buy another one um, coming up because I have a couple ones I need to finish. I have a NARS one. I have a Dior, two Dior ones I need to finish. The same thing goes for this um, one size in Dark 5 in our Turn Up the Base Powder. These two powders for me, if I live, I've always lived in hot and humid areas. If you want your makeup, because people are always like, how do you get your makeup to not move? Da, da, da. These two. That's it. These two. These two work so well together. I put this on after I put on my foundation or whatever light foundation stick, whatever it is, concealer, whatever it is I'm done with, I set it with this and then I spray a uh, spray and then I use this um, and I love it. 
Um, I have recently, I got this um, airbrush in number three for my under eye. I just don't think I like this for my under eye as much or I have to use a right concealer. Um, right now I've been using my shade tone concealers and this is just the number three has made my under eye like a little bit too yellow. So that's why I went back to using the medium from Patrick, uh, so, excuse me, Pat McGrath Labs. And um, I'm gonna keep using it. I, I've ordered it, I'm, I am during the VIB sale, gonna order it in number two and see if I like that better. Um, I have uh, bought a couple different lippies recently and let me give you a couple of review I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills tan rose. This is nice This is what I have on my lips today with a combination of the Anastasia Beverly Hills and pure Hollywood lip velvet I had tons of um, ABH. We don't say ABH because it's a long name I have a ton of their lipsticks a from ABH and I've decided to try one of these and one of these and I love their lip this, this is a lip gloss. This is a lip cloud. And then I have their lipsticks. I love their formulas. The issue I have with ABH and their lip products is they're not long lasting. Um, so if you're okay with reapplying, like it's weird because even the lip little clay cloud thing, it's not, it's, it's a lip velvet is what they call it. It's not long lasting, which is so weird to me um, because it should be. But if you see, I, I recently purchased similar shades um, because I just really like this nude, um, pinkish nude type color. And I love the way it looks on my lips. I also got this uh, Charlotte Tilbury airbrush pillow talk blur and this one's okay as well it's also not long lasting um i like to apply just in the morning but i'm just gonna because i like these formulas and they're nice on my lip i just figured i'm gonna have to start um just applying more and it is what it is oh something else that has been really good is lois natural finish skin loyalty listen why y'all ain't telling nobody about this this is very this is a very nice setting spray it's very much like my um charlotte tilbury um no, I haven't. Actually, I have. I used this um, when I went to that theater that was super hot. It was sweaty. I ain't have no AC. It was a hot mess. Um, and it lasted very well. Long lasting is what I'm saying. Sorry. Um, so this lasts just as well as my Charlotte Tilbury. The only thing that I don't like about this is the nozzle. I don't like the nozzle because it like it's like half not working. So it sprays and you have to spray it up and like turn the bottle around in order to get it to work well. Um, so yes. Uh, I also like the Pore Professional setting spray. I took it over there for some kids to use. It's good. It's fine. It's, it's not my favorite. As far as my favorite favorite setting sprays is the one size setting spray alongside the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray those are my number one and number two followed right up by this um LYS and then right after that would be the benefit poor professionals followed by the Scandinavia one right after that um this one I can't get on Sephora and I can't really find it other than like sites online so I probably won't purchase it again oh I also like the beauty bakery setting spray as far as um a cheap setting spray that's still good I like the elf um the one in the short black bottle i don't have one here i do have the beauty bakery one though um i don't shop that often at ulta but you can get this at ulta um uh i tried this cali ray i've tried the setting spray the primer i tried everything this brand just does not work for me look i'm the actually the i've gotten kind of used to the um what is it called the skin tip um but maybe maybe i'll try a full face of cali ray maybe i'll have to use them all together at one point and see if that works but um yeah, cheap setting spray I like is the short black elf one. Um, and as far as uh, I've kind of skipped this step about like kind of settling everything in with my MAC setting spray and then spraying this on top. I've pretty much been using any setting spray for that step because um, I have tons of them and it's worked just as well. So I don't need to just go to MAC only to buy that product because I was going to MAC to just buy that setting spray and, you know, just getting other stuff or if I order online for MAC, just, you know, I don't need to do that anymore because I found other comparable items. Um, I've recently started back using my Tatcha Silk Canvas and I remember why I stopped using it. Okay, so this, I don't, I don't have like breakouts or anything like that, but this clogs all the pores on my nose. Like, I feel like I want to use it just to finish it up, but honestly, the reason why I stopped using it, and I didn't, I didn't remember why I stopped using it until I started back using it. It clogs all the pores on my nose. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, a beauty, a uh, face product I've really been loving, I bought a full size, was um, this Claude de Lis. Um, and I got a couple sample sets and uh, sample items um, when I recently ordered from Sephora. So I'll be trying those out um, and leave a review. Um, as far as anything else, um, I have this water powder serum that I recently purchased. And um, I'm still trying it out before I give a full review. I would say that from what I've, I've used it today, I'm using it alone, not with another primer. And so I'll give a full review after that. I think when I used it yesterday, the thing I liked about it is, is that it didn't stop my oils. But when my oils came through, they looked a bit more natural. It made the rest of my face blend in and not just only one shiny nose like I'm not Rudolph the red nose right here type so I use this alone and then tomorrow when I use it I'm gonna use the uh, blurring 
blur powder or whatever um in shade nine that i normally use i'm gonna use that along with this and see how it works i've used this with this it works well i think that my skin this is nice but i am probably gonna wear this on its own i don't think my skin is uh dry enough because i have oily combination skin i don't think my skin is dry enough to really enjoy the full benefits of this but i will be using it when i'm not wearing makeup because uh i noticed that it does something similar to this one when my oils come through it makes my my whole face look more natural and not just root off the red nose ring there so i'll still use this but by itself not under makeup because it's too much um i'll come back with a full review on this um this nars seafront soft matte um advanced perfecting powder would not recommend uh came broken in addition to that um it's not long lasting face moves around slip slide all that um i think that's a quick nice little review for you guys um i've gone back to using um uh, my anessa or anissa sunscreen love it it's great for under my makeup doing great things oh i forgot to tell y'all about this this poor eclipse matte setting spray listen i do not like this i don't like the nozzle it sprays patchy i'm gonna keep trying it to see if it actually does its job and maybe do it as a middle step instead of a final step but so far i don't like it um sorry i'm rushing um i got done early so i decided to do this video and now it's time for me to go so i'm gonna do a quick um like this is what my face looks like now it is 6 44 i finished this makeup at 6 a.m like finish everything um and i'll come back at the end of the day and try to get another video or picture um because i gotta hit out my alarm about to go off also my last video um i did uh, the video from stand, from sitting farther away today i'm closer up um let me know in the comments which one you prefer i was showing the products or whatever and i wasn't sure if you guys could see it so i'm just playing around with my setting i was in my living room i could always bring the camera closer um just let me know your thoughts anyways thank you like comment subscribe and um let me fix that a little bit uh yeah bye y'all so excuse my hair <laughs> this is my face at the end of the day <laughs>